I know you wish things were different. Okay. Oh, no, you wish things were different. I wish things, I wish were, things different. were different. Yeah, I was ready for that. Ellie! But they ain't. That is a fact. Yeah, now they're different. Please stop! Sony Interactive Entertainment, Naughty Dog. Okay. I'm leaving tomorrow. Ellie did look like she had enough, y'all. She looked like she ready to spaz for real. Do this smart. We'd be leaving Jackson vulnerable. So they just get to get away with this. They must have really done some wild to Jackson. How'd you find us. You can't stop, you can't stop this. Ellie <laughs> about to have like I want what you want. A hundred bodies by the time this game over. Not at any cost. Spray more than that. I really hope you make it. Jesse. See, you. that part always gets me. Maybe you should have. That part always gets me. We could have killed you. So they purposely left her alive, guys. I don't know. That'd be crazy if that was the end of the state of play, wouldn't it? I'm Neil Druckmann, vice president of Naughty Dog and the director of The Last of Us Part Two. We're just a few weeks away from launch on June 19th, when the game will finally be in your hands. The wait has been long, and we're extremely grateful for your patience especially now in the midst of these unprecedented and challenging times. We hope you're all taking care of yourselves and that you, your friends, and your loved ones are doing well. Appreciate because you. of these extraordinary circumstances, we can't be together in this final stretch and share the experience like we usually would. So today we're trying something different. Something we've never done before. Let us know. Fans. Over the next 20 minutes or so, we're going to give you an in-depth look into what awaits you in The Last of Us Part 2. Including new details about the gameplay experience and story. Okay. And to cap it all off, we'll be showing a never-before-seen, lengthy gameplay sequence. You'll definitely want to stick around for that. I'm scared. I don't know what the hell's gonna happen. They finally had a community and they had to go left. I don't know what happened. I was supposed to take her to the Fireflies and walk away. Yeah, well. They were actually going to make a cure. The only catch. It would kill her. Yep. The Last of Us Part Two picks up Ellie and Joel's story several years after the events of the first game. Ellie and Joel have settled in Jackson, Wyoming, amongst a thriving community of survivors. With the threats of the world kept outside the town's walls, Jackson has been able to find relative peace and even stability. That's lit. Ellie is now 19, lives on her own, and has been able to forge lasting relationships within the community. Scale of one to 10, how would you rate our kiss from last night? That's different. However, this peace is short-lived. Jackson and Ellie suffer a violent and traumatizing event. Ellie sets off back into the treacherous outside world in search of retribution and justice. Her journey will take her to new parts of the country, previously unexplored in The Last of Us. Okay, okay. The story spans multiple seasons and climates, from the snow-capped mountains of Jackson to the lush Pacific Northwest. Each introduces a wide range of exterior and interior environments for you to navigate and explore, rendered in meticulous detail and unprecedented scale with the latest iteration of the Naughty Dog engine. 
Our goal was to make these environments not only beautiful, but feel as grounded and authentic to the cities they're based on as possible. Crazy. Much of the story unfolds in what remains of Seattle, a massive former quarantine zone. Its locales are incredibly diverse, spanning a dense city center with a skyline of towering high-rises to the beautiful suburbs Better, and stormy uh, waterfronts up. that surround it. Sheesh. The city exhibits drastic shifts in architecture, elevation, and weather. And with part two, we've introduced new traversal mechanics that afford greater exploration and ways to navigate yep, the giving us an actual jump button. Ellie is not only able to climb and jump over gaps, but she can use ropes to scale vertical terrain or swing over Are we getting ropes? Allowing you to discover new areas, resources, and side narratives. What? Everybody has a, a... These more open environments also create new strategic considerations in combat. Everybody has a grapple hook or a rope Whether it's to get the jump on enemies days. or bypass them entirely. The Last of Us Part 2 features some of the largest environments we've ever created. Horseback riding will allow Ellie to quickly cover some of these expansive terrains. Some streets are so flooded that a boat is required to navigate. What? We saw that in some of the trailers. However, so. the world of The Last of Us is as lush and inviting as it is deadly. They did not have no infected jump out As the Ellie water. uncovers the path to finding those who have Sorry. wronged her, she must face the many threats of this unknown city. In the wake of the pandemic and the fall of the quarantine zone, Seattle has become a war zone where two warring factions find themselves in an ongoing conflict for territory and resources. One of these groups is the Washington Liberation Front, otherwise known as the WLF. Washington Liberation. The WLF are a militia group that began as resistance to the military occupation of Seattle and eventually wrestled control of the city from them. They are highly trained, organized, and well-equipped with weapons they stole from the army. They occupy much of the city, imprisoning or killing trespassers on site. Hey, Damn. We got another trespasser. That who most of these folks were that we've been seeing? Oh, ridiculous. For what? Like... On the other side of this bloody conflict is a group of religious zealots called the Seraphites. Oh, damn. Or Scars. Defined by the self-inflicted deep cuts that they bear across their faces. Like the WLF, they're deeply tribalistic and territorial. They're known for being stealthy, using overgrowth as cover, and they use more silent weapons like bows and arrows. Okay, they're gonna be hard to fight. Clip her wings. <laughs> this is so jack. Don't show it. Don't show it. But beyond Thank this you. conflict among survivors, the threat that originally brought the world to its knees is very much present. Every human is in danger of falling victim to the infected. Ooh, his heart. There are the recently infected runners who are more numerous and aggressive in this game. Oh boy. The blind but extremely deadly clickers and the stalkers who sneak and hide until they're ready to attack. Oh, surprising come on. Their victims with extreme agility and brutal violence. The Last of Us Part 2 introduces new stages of infected, such as the Shamblers. Large, heavily armored enemies that are covered in pustule. Upon getting close to you, they expel a corrosive spore cloud that burns its victims. But our most terrifying and lethal new forms of infected will have to wait until you play the game for yourselves. Wow, y'all gonna do it. Overcoming these That's threats like will require careful me. consideration of how you approach every combat encounter and how you leverage Ellie's unique skills, equipment, and the environment to your advantage. The WLF patrol the streets of Seattle with guard dogs, which are capable of detecting and following you even while in cover. They can pick up your scent and alert their handlers to your presence. Listen mode will reveal your scent trail, so keep moving and cause distractions to avoid detection. She got a more enhanced. 25 years after the pandemic began, the world is completely overgrown. Use tall grass to hide from enemies and go prone to stay out of sight. However, this form of analog stealth means you're never fully hidden. If enemies get close enough, they can discover you, even in grass. When Ellie is overwhelmed, running away is a viable option. You can also break class or crawl through tight spaces to find new paths or areas to evade or take on your enemies. In any given combat situation, you can flee an encounter 
and re-establish stealth to regain the advantage. If you absolutely have to fight your way out, there are a variety of tools at your disposal. Ellie's more agile than most of her enemies. She can sprint and quickly dodge incoming attacks. Learning how opponents attack with different weapons and mastering the timing of your dodges will prevent you from taking damage and create opportunities to counter attack. That's beautiful. You can use throwable items or well-placed shots to stun enemies before dealing a killing blow. You, you know how many times we're gonna get shot in this? Using them as a shield to protect yourself or buy some time to figure out your next move. Oh, Ellie is a gangster, man. Ellie isn't always alone on her journey. Allies will take part in helping you navigate the environments, spot enemies, and meaningfully help you in combat encounters. Oh, we finally saw a fight with Jesse in the. Okay. Gangster. I mean, what do they expect? They attack you and then they scream the person's name as though you, they were not there trying to kill you. Human survivors and the roaming infected, oh. there will be times where multiple threats are present, creating new strategic considerations and opportunities. So you get those two groups to fight each other while you dead. You can choose whether to attack these opponents separately and directly, or find ways to pit them against each other. Flee as they fight, or wait until their numbers have thinned out and engage with whomever's left. That was tough, pitting infected against the groups. Take a match yourself. Damn! That's mad infected! Our goal is to create unparalleled attention, coupled with deep systems cool. that give you greater control and influence over your journey. As you play, you'll be able to invest in a broad collection of crafting items, weapon, and player upgrades through training manuals scattered throughout the environment and scavenging for ingredients. These skills and upgrade manuals cater to a variety of play styles, and the choices you make will create your own distinct experience. We also wanted to extend that agency and personalization to your weapons through our new workbench system. Scavenge your parts bench. to modify and improve your weapon's performance and attributes, all of which are visualized and become part of your character. I don't know, y'all. I'm gonna be doing a whole lot of sneaking. This is a lot of MS to deal with. Survival will also require using the parts and ingredients that you'll find in the environment, which can be crafted into a wide range of defensive and offensive items, like proximity mines, explosive arrows, pistol suppressors, and more. I hope you can put suppressors on your rifles too. He hasn't said it, but that'd be nice. Because I'm gonna be as quiet as possible. Hold this. <laughs> oh, it blew up, oh shit. All of these gameplay systems are meant to immerse you in the world and make you feel in lockstep with Ellie's emotional journey. As we've said before, this is Naughty Dog's largest, most ambitious game. It may seem like we covered a lot, but we've only scratched the surface of what it's like to play The Last of Us Part Two. We can't wait for you to experience it all for yourself mm, next on June level. 19th. Next level. Until then, here's an extended sequence of never before Extended seen sequence game. begins now. Enjoy. Let's get it. I will. Neil, I will. Are they starting us off in the lake? The river. I'm serious. If they have infected pop up out the junk talking about something, they're in stage 15 and they got fins and gills, I'm going to be like. Not playing this. No, like, <laughs> that would just be nuts. I'd be like, I'm not going to any water. No fuck, Isaac. Escape. The fuck are they talking about? So that a question. I don't know the hell Isaac is. He's probably the dude we saw in the trailer. <laughs> Talking his ish. 
Because there's got to be leaders of these two groups. And last time we saw a leader of a group in the first one, homeboy, it was crazy as I have. And he was a cannibal. Oh, sure. Who that? Yeah. The WLS and the. I forgot what the religious group was called, but. This is just too many enemies aside from. Oh, this an ally? Nope. Oh. Don't make a fucking sound. Oh, gangster. Hands up. Hey, we'll put that down. You know a girl named Nora? Where is she? In the hospital. Where in the hospital? Yeah, they're, they're clearing out the upper floors. She's somewhere in there. What the hell's Nora? Who's Nora? Oh, this lady's great. You lost. What are you, stupid? Huh? You stupid? Fuck. That's her own business. She could have chilled out. Lost her life on some stupid. Who's Nora, guys? This this story is gonna have so much in it. I, I don't even know. That's a new character. Who the hell is Nora? They haven't told us about any Noras. We've heard Dina, Jesse. Word is we're almost wrapped up. Good. I got my girl waiting for the car. You shit me. They put you in jail again. Hey, we get the job done. I bet you do. Oh, this is not fair. I'm telling you, man. Data soldier. It makes these shifts so much easier. Oh boy, Joe. Y'all nasty. I'll keep that in mind. Y'all nasty. We know what y'all do. That's freaky. Fuck. Sounds like scars are getting closer. But that's our guys executing those reports. Hey. Did you hear how we're all getting called up to the phone? That's what I'm talking about. Get shot. I heard that Isaac wants us to retake all of downtown. I heard we might take the fight to them. <laughs> no way. Not after what went down last time. Well, but even Isaac isn't that crazy. Okay, Isaac got his ass whooped once. What I heard. These people must be. I my guess is that they're the leaders of the WLS Jones. But although Isaac, Isaac is a biblical name, so these dudes are probably. They might be the 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 religious group, talking about some fighting against the WLS folks. But there's probably another faction that we have not heard about yet. So. Not even. I had a silencer. Who was paying attention to Charlotte? God damn it. Clean. Yeah, you know, everything that happens in this is gonna be deep, like But like I'ma try and be stealthy and get around folks, but look. This game is a survival game, not even like a stealth game, like which you know, it has both, but I mean I feel like they put you in moments where you just you gotta you gotta kill folks. I mean what are you supposed to do? Like it's one against you know, however many, it's a lot. Not to mention there's more than one faction, like Trying to kill you. Hold this. Just like that. Just like that. Okay, Ellie. Ain't no Ellie new hip hop. Headshots all over the place. I really hope you can put silencers on these, y'all. Uh, <coughs> stupid. Oh. Saw movement. I'll go check it out. I got you covered. Holy shit! Smoke bomb. Shit! Look out! Move over here! What? Drop her now! Oh my goodness. 
Yo, the people who make this game. <laughs> Yo, y'all ever wonder how many times they. I mean, I know they made it. Oh my gosh. Talk about knocked your head off. But I was. Anyways. Oh my goodness. This person racks up confirmed kills like. My thing is, how many times do you think they had to practice this before they did it this cleanly? Even if you made it, like, don't you think it would still be kind of a... I mean, you would have a much better understanding of how the game works. You worked on it, but... Guys, this is about to be a whole lot. And I was worried that Ellie was going to be alone for a lot of it, but yeah, I guess she was fighting with several allies, so which is great. Um, still curious to see who the hell Nora is. Well, hold up. Speaking of hip hop, what are they doing? They got Cube on here. They got it was a good day on here. What? Okay, Neil. Okay, I see ya. Uh, who is bumping that? This has to be years before. You know how long ago? This is post apocalypse. They're supposed to be in the future ahead of us now, I think. That's different. That's stupid. You're going to tell us where she went. When Isaac talks to us about this, I guess that's Nora. I'm not going to lie. I don't know if we're going to kill Nora. I think I think Ellie wants some answers because. um. Why would they be tending to somebody? They said she was in the hospital. Why would they be tending to somebody who was an enemy? There's no remorse for human life in this game, really, for for these different factions and groups. They just start killing for well, unless you're with them, of course. It seems like they just start killing folks. I guess we'll see though. Don't scream. Oh shoot. And Nora's a sister? Not me. I was not expecting that, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little gassed up. Okay. You remember me? Yeah. You remember me. Yeah, I thought I was joking when I said Ellie went full on gangster in this. She's not playing. She's not playing. She's not playing. When she said she was planning on killing each and every one of them, she was being as serious as you could possibly be. June 19, 2020, y'all. So I'm, I'm hyped. Every time we get some new, some new news, I just get more and more excited, y'all. So you know, I can't, I can't wait. But um. I'll, I'll probably like cut the gameplay reaction part off and let y'all watch that. I don't know if I'm gonna split it in two for the inside of the details and the gameplay reaction. We'll see. But I appreciate y'all for tuning in here and watching this with me. Um, but I'm gonna catch y'all next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All right. Let me see y'all later. Yeah.